So yesterday, me and Kaylee had a day off. Um, we stayed home to try and catch up on some paperwork and I had to make a phone to EE about the broadband and everything. In meanwhile, Becca and Dad went and got some of the new take cows in um, and brought them in here because we're walking them out today to Wormhill uh, for them to go with the bull. Dad's just gone to get them. This is what we call Corndon Road. We had a uh, topper come through for next doors um, to chop their pony grass and he couldn't get this way or the other way so he came through the uh, fields instead. But um, I'm just filming this to show how terrible this road is. This is actually now slowly starting to get better. I have reported this road a hundred times over and over for all the potholes and everything. Like, they say it's not that bad, yeah, when you travel through the car, it's not. But when you come through with a tractor, lorry, box, system, whatever, it is horrendous. It's pulling on all the trucks, it, the lorry rocks like hell, because actually it's surprising how uneven all this is. So I'm just putting a little video up, because all of my pictures and all of my posts don't seem to do anything. Hi puppy, shh, shh. just be quiet. It is just a horrendous piece of road. This, if anything, isn't half as bad as what is to come. Come on babies, hey, hey, hey. So this is the worst bit, <laughs> so much so that if the lorry and trailers and boxes and things we try and avoid, especially coming up, because it pulls so badly, there you go, that's, you can see where he got to hit the rocks. <laughs> Just a terrible bit of road and they tell me it's not you know it's not worth fixing I think it is this road is used so much not only by the people that live here but passing cars and things if you go the other way you can go the other way down by Meldon um, and pull in at the big lay-by there but that lay-by's dropped away so much from the road that you've got to be careful if you're towing anything because everything grinds out This might get a little publicity. I have no idea. <laughs> you can see if anything comes through, it tries to keep out on the sides as much as it can. Like, this is the worst bit. There's so much sand and everything that's built up in the middle. It makes these holes actually so much worse. Like, So this is always a fun bit, we're at Stinyo now, which is literally a road and on the other side is literally a big piece of moorland, or I say a big piece, it's a little triangle piece of moorland, um, but there's no fence, no nothing. At the minute we're fine, all the ferns have grown up, so the cows don't really look. But when the ferns aren't there, it's just literally a big open space with an odd tree, um, but we're very lucky that our cows are nice and quiet, they like to follow us through. 
it's just unfortunate for the one person that has to run the outside of the common. You can't run right along the road, you have to like follow the horse path as what well. it was. I believe Dad's got that blessing today. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> just bringing in the, the Dartmoor cows to put to bowl. Uh, we're missing a few, they've mixed up with some others. Dad's gone to try and find the O's, or bring them in, gone to find them. Um, the heifers like to follow you, so I'm bringing these in so that they don't follow us all the way around the mall. So they've come down to the forestry cattle grid, and we're walking back the road now. So I'll walk them back to the lane. Um, just in case, if anyone finds a glove, I, I lost my glove. Um, I brought them both out because I thought if the rain comes in, it's nice to wear gloves, it protects my hands from the cold. Um, but I lost one somewhere around uh, burying stones towards the forest side. Just in case, it's a far fetched, but just in case. <laughs> walking behind them now. The rest of them are behind me because they don't like to do this next bit of the house. <laughs>
goodbye. We are having a great day. It's a bit wet and rainy, but we're loving it, aren't we? <laughs>